Check it. What is up guys, welcome to another video and today we are here to talk about Horizon 3 again. So today it's going to be more of an opinions video, it's going to be more of an initial reactions video. Yesterday we talked facts, we talked about everything that was going to be released with the game and whatnot. And now today we're going to go ahead and talk about what I think of the game. And you know reasons why I'm a bit you know wary of Horizon 3 and you know reasons why I'm really excited for Horizon 3. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into today's video. So, if you follow me on Twitter, you will know that I am very, very cautiously optimistic for this game. For various reasons, and we'll talk about that throughout the video. Um, and you, you would have seen that term thrown around by me a lot, because that is kind of how I feel. Um, I think that there is potential for this game to be absolutely amazing. You know, Forza and Turn 10 and Playground Games and all them lot, you know, Microsoft, they do a really good job of getting these hype trailers going. And I'm not going to lie, it got me going. You know, when I saw that, that Liberty Walk GTR, when I saw the Liberty Walk M4, you know, even when I saw the rally cars go through of the Subi and the Evo, I was like, whoa, this is this is pretty cool. Is that a rocket? No. Is that a Liberty Walk kit? Was that a Liberty Walk kit? <gasps> okay, that was sick. Oh my god. Oh my god, that got my willy hard. Jesus Christ <laughs> and then like I just tried to take a step back because I was the exact same way for Horizon 2 and I was I left I, I left Horizon 2 with a, a slightly bit disappointed to be honest um, I kind of expected more from it and it didn't deliver now it's been a bit different with Horizon 3 I do feel like they are more likely to kind of deliver on what they are promising it seems like the competition with other open world races such as the crew and um, need for speed etc has really caused forza to go up another gear and it looks like a completely different game you know the return of storefronts you know obviously the wide bodies um the 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 setting i wasn't sold on australia at all and then they then i saw the trailer and i was like you know what this could work you know like i i originally wanted japan i still think japan would be a great place to have a future horizon game um, you know, I wasn't completely sold on Australia. Then I saw the trailer and I was like, whoa, they, they're at, they can actually do something with this. Um, and that was the, the turning point for me, really. I think going into it, I kind of just want to play the demo at this point. Usually Horizon games do have demos before fa be beforehand. And if there is going to be one for this one, I imagine it's going to be uh, early September, maybe late August, some somewhere around there. Um, and I just kind of want to play it and see what the physics are like. I want to see if they've tweaked the physics. If they have tweaked the physics and the off-roading does feel a bit different, you know, compared to where Horizon 2. Horizon 2, you could literally go off-road with anything and it wouldn't affect your performance. You'd basically, you're basically carrying on, but it's a bit more slippery you know by the looks of things it's kind of similar I'm just hoping that they focused a bit more on the off-roading and it actually feels like you're off-roading and not like you're just going on you know a wet road that is kind of my only real doubt for it um, and as well as that you know just the, having the content in the game and making sure there's enough content but overall I do think Horizon 3 is going to be an amazing game regardless even if it doesn't hit the points I just mentioned it's still going to be a game which I can play for a few months without getting bored um, but then if it knocks all the nails on the head this could be a game which lasts till Need for Speed 2017 and beyond you know it, it really does have that potential and I can't wait to see what they do with it again for me it's all about playing the demo first I think the demo is where I will decide on what I think with it because again if you guys followed me but like two years ago when Horizon 2 come out you would have known I was really hyped I mean I'm, I'm I guess I can put a clip up of how hyped I was when I was playing the demo I'll, I guess I'll do that now oh, I'm in the game big boy oh off-road I'm going off-road oh get Ready? Our oh, first race, here we go! So yeah, I, I, I was pretty goddamn hyped. <laughs> um, so, and I don't really want to get myself to, you know, the, the, the point where I'm so hyped that I get let down again. I think that's the, my main thing. Um, and that's really it. Besides that, everything else in Horizon 3 looks freaking awesome. I'm really, really excited, you know. Uh, I, obviously, the off-road looks cool. The customization, I'm really interested to see where the customization goes. You can actually customize your driver. So, you know, just, just it, the amount of detail they're going to, it kind of is reassuring. You know, you can customize the sound of the horns. You know, you've got 30 different rim styles, new rim styles, you know. And then, obviously, you've got the Forza Carlis, which is always huge. I don't know. I think, yeah, it could be a very, very good game. And having, you know, Forza and Need for speed on this yearly cycle it's really really beneficial to us gamers because in the end of the day all it's going to do is uh, kind of increase 
the the quality of both games because they have you know indirect competition i wouldn't necessarily say the crew need for speed and forza are direct competition i'd say the, the crew and need for speed are more direct competition than anything and even then that's a bit of a long long shot because they're rpg versus not so rpg <laughs> you know type of game but you know whether regardless that doesn't matter the, in, the, in the end of the day i can definitely tell that playground games have done a good job with this and i can't wait to play it at full release in september so what are your guys thoughts about forza horizon 3 let me know down in the comment section down below uh, are you cautiously optimistic like i am or you know have you got different views on it again let me know down in the conversation down below and i will see you guys in the next video tomorrow so again i hope you guys enjoyed if you did hit the like subscribe i will see you guys in the next one you guys have been awesome stay safe and peace